Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Uh, well, Open Transport to Tycoon Deluxe actually. And in this little guide here, I'm gonna show you how to make a roll in, roll out, I believe it's called, um, where it's actually a one way track. Everything just goes down and around. Um, I'll build a station here and I don't have to combine it with this one but um, I'm gonna do it uh, just for sake um, I'm gonna press the control key on uh, pause and then I'm gonna press the control key here that gives me the right to combine it with this station something it's a trick you'll learn uh, normally at a later point but right now i want to use this space in between um in this station but for another guide on to this in the one of the later episodes so that's why i'm doing it now but what we want is to get a route down here and we're gonna do this in a little bit of a it's i'd say this route is not going to be financially optimal but I'm doing it uh, to show you uh, in a more visual way on uh, why. So we're gonna build another station here, and as I told you earlier, you just need to have the uh, blue highlight on it. So I like to build the station all the way out here, and as you can see, it's still covering. So what I want is actually to have a route going this way and a route going this way around. So it's going round and round and round. It's a roundabout, not a roll on, roll out. Sorry, so I said the wrong thing. Uh, it can be confusing. But what I need to do is do some landscaping here. Because as you can see, we've got a little bit of things in the way. And I'll just remove these. And there. And some more tracks here, going here, going down the slope, and want to see where we're actually hitting, and as you can see here, we can actually go all the way from the station to here, and here, so we've actually combined this now. Now what I want to do is build a route this way, and we're actually taking a little bit of a more advanced uh, part in this tutorial because we are going to be building bridges already. wasn't supposed to do that yet. Oh, you're getting so much. But, you see here we're just going down the way here. And what we need is actually a bridge over here. Then I'll press the bridge here. Very, very simple. I'll press on one side and the other side and it says the length of the bridge is going to be 3 and I'll press. If you remember how fast our train went over here, it actually went 112 kilometers per hour I believe. So for our train not to be slowed down, we'll need to use this bridge. Uh, at a later point there will be some other bridges so you don't always have to take the most expensive one. So just bear in mind what trains you're using. But that's for another guide. I'll just press here and presto! We've got a bridge. And I'll do trains, uh, tracks. And we'll do tracks here. 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 And here. So, if I were to send a train on route now, from this station to this station, it would just go between this and this, back and forth, back and forth, on this track alone. The reason for that being, it's the shortest route. But then again, is it the best route? Mm, that's up for you to decide, but uh, you can do some fancy things with this. But we need something to put the trains in. So we'll be building a few of these. I'll press, uh, put them out before the station. That's recommended. If you're not doing them at an end of the station, then put them out in front of the station so that it's before they go in or uh, after the station when they've unloaded. 
So it's yeah, well, it's there's uh, a lot of different opinions on this one. So well, we can't all agree. I've placed three around the track here, and we can start sending out a train, new train, and we did the jubilee build, and we did the coal, and now actually I placed the train up here, which is far away from this one. But let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, seven. We'll do this, and we'll do the route again. Take it here, and. Here, and now you see which one is it I'm gonna full out. It's the one where we've got the coal. Pretty important to check out. Everybody makes that mistake once in a while and makes full load on the wrong track. So, full load any cargo. This one, if you want to, you can press on load. But that's again for another end. If you're uncertain, don't do it. And we. So, let's see which way the train goes. The train is going this way, which I foresaw. Um, but it'll go back and forth this way now. But what we can do is take this simple, normal uh, track signal here. And if I zoom in, you can see it's... There's... I'm pressing it here. The first time I press it, it'll be two. One. The signal is lighting this way. That means that the trains coming from this direction is looking at this signal. So that's this signal. If I do this, then trains coming from this direction will look at the signal. They can't drive towards this signal unless there is two of them. So if I press it like this, then the train can't leave this area and go that way. And you can see if I do it like this again, this train when leaving will actually move out. Oh, I'll just skip this. As you can see, it'll leave this way around. That's uh, fairly simple. Another reason why I checked how the length of our train is because when we're placing signals, I would actually like to place signals a long way around here. So when I'm placing them, I'm here, I've got this checked, and I'm pressing my control key, and whoopsie, it places signals with this spacing. I've set it to 6 because I usually don't make my trains longer than 6 and find it a very nice length. What you need to do though is check when there, if there's uh, bridges, we can try and make it on the other side here, which we will anyway. I'll press it here, and control key. Like this, draw it along the track, and see every one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, technically, these cross are not six, so yeah. Here, one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth. The vertical spaces are not counted the same. But, well, this one actually ended here, but it stopped at the bridge, and you can see there is no signals on the other side, so I have to go on to the other side and place a signal. And then I have to do it again. That is the same with uh, bridges and tunnels. We haven't gotten into tunnels yet. But the good thing about this build is here we can have one train. If I put more than one train on, they'll collide and crash and burn. What I can do here is I can press this one. I can press the clone train and I can press this one. Oh, I just need some more cash. Uh, money. Then clone and press here. And as you can see, I got this train with the exactly the same. Um, yeah, well, everything actually. It's a clone. So, same route, same everything. You can also group it in another way if you press the control key, that will make it shared. So right now I just, well, delete all this. Uh, yeah. If I press the control key while cloning it, you can press it up here as well if you're not on the same screen. Then it has shared orders. That means if I were to go in here now, you can see this is the other one. 
and I'll go to an extra time. It will update both of them. I'll just remove it quickly so it doesn't confuse any of the train. But that's if you use the control key while doing the clone. If you just do the clone, it will not have the shared order system. When doing this here route, it would be pretty nice to do the shared because, well, the trains are going the exactly the same route and if you want to update them or something you can just press one of the trains but you see they're going nicely in the roundabout here round round get around and that's how you make this road um, technically you can have as many trains as you have stop signals because they'll never collide going this way around so you don't uh, you won't have a crash you could um, expand this station uh, I'll show you Actually, I'll show you now. Don't want to make another video of this. Uh, you can just put in another station here. If this is the loading station and you have multiple trains here, you can then just do this. And here. Here. And here. But now this track is combined with the signal of that. So we need to put in some extra signals. We'll put one here, one here, and that would actually help. So when this one's leaving, you see this train automatically goes to the station. So you can have more trains filling up. So that can uh, be helpful if you have a feeder. It's a feeder station or other things, which I will show you later. But this is how you built this kind of station, and I hope this was helpful for you. See you guys later. Bye.